Fox 10 News caught in the act does it again. Two suspected burglars arrested and charged. Yeah, it's a follow up to a case out of Theodore. Our Lee Peck now joins us in studio with this update. Yeah, and Lee, one of these guys may have made it too easy for police. <laughs> Absolutely, Byron Lanise. His Facebook profile picture added with surveillance video being shared on social media, our story and viewers. It's not surprising that authorities caught up with them. Caught in the act on Fox 10 is sponsored by Hunter Security. Your security is our business. It was late last month. No one was home, so these two let themselves right in. Authorities say they'd steal an air compressor, tools, and jewelry before setting off the alarm. There's an alarm. What? Alarm. Alarm. We'll come back to this. We'll come back. Mobile police would miss them by four minutes, but not before they were caught in the act. Homeowner Jenna Bailey sharing the video on social media got our attention. Uh, you guys aired it that night. That same day, uh, we had positive identification from multiple people messaging me on Facebook. And you may be surprised to find out who they identified first. Believe it or not, this guy also featured in his Facebook profile wearing the same mask. I was just like, yes, we got him. Uh, from there, we'll definitely get the other guy. It's the same day, had the other guy uh, identified. I wasn't too sure, but they were both friends on Facebook. And I was just, I was floored that he had that mask on on his Facebook uh, picture. The very next day, he took the picture off of Facebook. <laughs> I would say so. The very next morning, he took the picture off Facebook. But a little too late. Police were on to 33-year-old Shane Bullock and his partner in crime, 33-year-old Tony Neese. Both were arrested last week and have a criminal history. I was worried that maybe they wouldn't get picked up or it would get pushed back because it's not the, the biggest of crimes out there. But to me, it meant so much because they took things that belonged to my late mother um, from the house, things that I can't replace. Both now face burglary charges and are due in court September. September 11th. And keep those videos coming. If you have footage of someone caught in the act, email it to us at Fox 10 Report it at Fox10TV.com. There's a good chance we'll show it in our newscast.